Hey ladies, it's Deanna from thelipstickgirls.com and today we are going to be working on one area everybody loves to hate, the inner and outer thighs. So today we're going to be working those inner and outer thighs, but it's important to remember that you can't spot reduce, but you can spot train. So even though we're going to be working on sculpting and toning those beautiful inner and outer thighs, it's also important to remember that you have to remember to do your cardio and have proper nutrition in order to burn the fat around those muscles. So make sure you stay on point with cardio and nutrition in order to see the results you want. So to start, we're gonna lay on our side. So we're gonna start on our left side and bring your spine towards the back of the mat. So you have a few options with your head here. You can either rest your head on your hand, prop it up on your elbow, or you can extend that arm out straight and use your arm like a pillow. Either is fine. So we are going to have those feet slightly in front of us, so your spine's towards the back of your mat and your feet are towards the front. We're gonna start by pointing through those toes, engage those abdominal muscles, try and get a little tiny mouse hole between your bottom oblique and the floor, and you're gonna lift that leg up and lower. Good, lift and lower, and lift, and lower. So if you notice, my leg's not going very high. It doesn't have to go super, super high. I wanna think more about lengthening that leg away from the hip. So it gets really, really long, and that's gonna help really target those inner and outer thighs. Good, lift, and lower, and lift, and lower, good. We're gonna do four more here, and then we're gonna add in little tiny pulses, because you know I love pulses. One more, and lift it up and hold. Pulse it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Flex through that foot, and you're gonna point the toe down to the floor, internally rotate the toes and the knee, and then rotate it out so your heel taps the back. Good, toe in front, heel in back. So internal rotation to the front, external rotation to the back. That's gonna really really burn that outer thigh. You're gonna like it. Good. So make sure the knee stays right in line with the toes the whole time. And we're gonna do 10 to the front, 10 to the back. Good. So we got three more in each position. Good. Keep those hips nice and steady. Abs are pulled super, super tight. Good. And front, back, one more. Good. And lift that leg hip height and we're gonna go into bicycles. So nice giant bicycle circles to the front, and then you get to reverse it. So I want you to imagine this is the biggest bicycle you've ever ridden, it's huge, and keep that leg parallel to the floor the whole time. Don't let it drop down, and don't go too high. Good, nice job ladies, you got this. So you are going to love how this burns, I promise you. Good, one more in this direction, and then we get to reverse it. So remember to grab your printable version of this workout. There will be a link down below for you to find it so that you can always have it with you. This is a great workout to do when you're traveling because you don't need any equipment at all, so it's perfect and it doesn't take a lot of time. So you're gonna like this one. One more, good. Take a quick little rest, hug that knee in towards the chest and then we are gonna do little circles. So we're gonna add on a little bit of circles to lift that leg back hip height and we're gonna make circles the size of a dinner plate. So circle to the front, good. Doesn't have to be big, about the size of a dinner plate is all you need. You will feel it instantly, good. And three, two, one, reverse those circles, opposite direction, keep those hips super, super steady, abs are pulled nice and tight, don't forget your little mouse hole. Good, three, two, and one, hug that knee in, we gotta work those inner thighs. So you're gonna place that front, that top foot right in front of you, flex to that bottom foot, and you're gonna lift that leg up and lower. Good, lift and lower. So imagine that you have a stack of books on those inner thighs, and keep it as steady as possible. You want them to drop. So lift and lift. Good, lift. Reach through that heel, that's gonna help engage that inner thigh. So you're working the inner thigh on the bottom leg. So opposite leg this time for this one. Lift and lift, good. Two and one. Hug both knees in, give them a little squeeze. Rub it out, massage it out if you need to. And we're gonna go to the other side. So swing those legs around. 
Get yourself set up so spine is towards the back of your mat. Again, you can prop your head up on your hand or you can extend that arm out straight as a little pillow. Legs are gonna be towards the front of your mat. Abs are pulled in nice and tight. Find that little mouse hole in your bottom oblique and we are going to get started. You're gonna lift it up and lower. So again, it doesn't have to be very high here. Think of really reaching through that leg, extending out through that hip socket and engaging those quadriceps, those hamstrings, all those muscles throughout the legs. Everything is nice and tight. Good. Remember, we wanna work efficiently and work smart so we're not in the gym forever and ever and ever. Good, lift and lift. Good, we have three, two, one, and of course those little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, flex to that foot, toe in front, heel in back. So internal and external rotation, hips stay super steady. Make sure your knee stays right in line with your toe the whole time. Good, rotate. So we're making little rainbows over that bottom foot. Get up and over, up and over, beautiful. Nice job, ladies. You got three and two and one. And bring that foot back parallel to the floor. Circle it in front, nice big bicycle circles. Again, the biggest bicycle you've ever ridden. Circle it behind you, get that whole leg moving. Good, stay parallel to the floor, keep your hips nice and steady. Nice. Got three more in this direction and then we get to reverse it. And reverse, circle it in the opposite direction, pull that knee towards the chest, use those low abs, keep that leg parallel to the floor. Breathe through it, I know it's getting tough, the second side is always the hardest side. Good. Pull it in, in three, and two, and one, hug that knee in towards the chest. Take a little stretch, massage it out. So we're gonna extend that leg back out straight, lift it up, hip height, and circles to the front. So again, about the size of a dinner plate, doesn't have to be very big, just try and keep that leg just about parallel to the floor. Hips stay steady, abs pulled super, super tight. So remember, we gotta get those abs worked out as much as we can. We're all about efficiency. Good, three, two, one. Reverse those circles, opposite direction. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Hips stay steady, your hand can come on your hip if that helps keep you steady. We have four, three, two, and one. Hug that knee in, and we got those inner thighs coming up. So we're gonna bend that top foot, put that foot flat on the floor, flex through that bottom leg, and you're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower, good. Again, remember that stack of books on those inner thighs. Keep them as steady as possible. Don't let them drop. Good, almost there. Lift and lower. Good, so if you're looking for a cardio workout that will go great with this, your cardio booty hit will be amazing. So I'll add a link to that as well. Good, three, two, and one. Or if you're looking for a full body, your hit and arms workout will be perfect. So this workout is perfect to do just once through. If you really wanna work those inner and outer thighs, you could do it twice, but just once and you will feel the burn, I promise you. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel for new workouts every single week, please join our Facebook community. It's full of inspiring and motivating women that help each other reach their goals. Also check out the livefitgirls.com for more workouts every single week and I will see you guys next time. Bye.